Virgo singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. The Ten of Pentacles is your overall energy. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right, Virgo, let's get right into your reading. It looks like you're dealing with a situation, Virgo, where you're dealing with some rejection. Um... There's this sense of giving up. Yeah, I'm seeing that someone is being deceptive. And someone is in a situation for selfish reasons. This person isn't around for their own, for the betterment of the relationship. This is around for, this is someone that is around for convenience sake. I'm feeling like someone's juggling. Someone has another relationship on the side. And they're lying about it. Someone's keeping you in limbo. Or this could be vice versa. It could be you playing this out, Virgo. Someone could be keeping the other person in limbo. You know, out of like I said, out of convenience. Because they need a place to stay. I'm saying that things could have been could have become off balance emotionally. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or a Leo in some cases. Someone's kind of losing the strength to to continue to battle this relationship. I'm feeling like someone could be dealing with their ex on the side. I'm seeing that someone's contemplating becoming single or someone's acting single while the other person isn't around. There's a lot of chaos and conflict going on within the relationship. I'm seeing that the relationship isn't moving forward. The passion has died out. And this could have been the type of relationship that really wasn't started um, because of love. There could have been someone trying to manipulate a situation, you know, manipulate this person into a relationship. Because I'm definitely seeing manipulation as a factor. And Virgo, I see your card at the smack dab, smack dab in the middle of the reading. So this could be your energy. You could be dealing with another Virgo. This could be you. I'm feeling like someone is very emotionally distant and cold. And this is someone that wants to isolate themselves. Maybe you're dealing with someone who is kind of MIA. They're not really around. They might be using work as an excuse to, to not be there to deal with the issues. Someone could be saying that they're at work when they're actually having an affair. I'm feeling like someone's not getting a lot of um, rest or a lot of um, inner peace. Which is why things are off balance. Like someone's emotionally off balance in this situation. They're not getting rest. They're not getting any inner peace about the situation. I'm feeling like um, a lot of baggage is ac accumulating in this relationship or has accumulated because someone's self-worth has been tested. Or someone's just feeling a low sense of self-worth because of, you know, how things are playing out. It's how they're treating someone. I'm seeing that someone's really out there exploring their options. They're out there seeing multiple people. So it's more than just a three-party situation. Someone is dealing with multiple other people. You've got someone in the situation that's paranoid as well. I don't know if they're paranoid of change. I think they're paranoid of someone's actions. Yeah, someone is not committed to this relationship. And I feel like someone's waking up to this fact. They're becoming painfully aware that, you know, this isn't 
what they thought it was or what they hoped it would be. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer as well. I've got the chariot in reverse. I feel like there's this feeling of despondence. Yeah. Someone's giving up. It's time to go. Someone feels that. I'm definitely feeling that there's a breakup or a divorce coming. That someone's about to release this relationship. And I believe that someone is still holding on. But I feel like it's only a matter of time before... things fall I'm feeling like this is divine timing this is a karmic relationship and I'm feeling like yeah karmic karmic relationships are ending um, new beginnings are taking place in this situation there's definitely someone lying and manipulating the situation to their advantage yeah here it is new beginnings so things are ending. Karmic cycles are wrapping up. What I feel like this is, is a lot of times people keep relationships beyond their expiration date. I've said this in previous videos. People come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And I believe that there, this, was, this relationship came into being for a reason. The lesson has been learned and I feel like it's this relationship is leaving it is it is dissolving for a reason and i feel like someone's ready to move on this could be someone you could have kids with this person and i feel like someone's taking their kids and leaving the issue is that like i said before someone a lot of baggage has accumulated in this relationship and i feel like someone ha is leaving with their baggage intact as well. I definitely feel like there has been some very hurtful words that were said in this relationship. Some very cutting and painful words. Someone is speaking without tact and without regard to the other person's feelings. I feel as though it's necessary to listen to your intuition. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Very intuitive. Someone feels stabbed in the back and betrayed by the other's actions. So I feel like there was information being withheld. And, and um, someone's secrets came out. And this person can't hide behind the smoke and mirrors any longer. I feel like, yeah, someone wants expansiveness. They don't feel like, like this relationship is giving them what they hoped for. I feel like someone's going to come forward and tell the truth about what's really been going on. I've seen that, I'm seeing that someone has turned their back on this relationship. Like someone's going to choose one person. We've got three here, three ones, and he has his hand on one as if he has made his choice because there's a fork in the road here. Someone's having to choose, and I feel like someone is about to choose what, it, what direction they want to take, and the direction is to turn their back on this present situation and to turn and walk away from this chaos and conflict. I feel like someone is dealing with their ex and they're wanting a second chance with their ex. And they might be secretly seeing or speaking to this ex, but I don't feel like it's a secret any longer because um, I feel like the secret's out. I feel like someone could also be seeing someone at work. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone has lost hope in this relationship. Virgo. 
I'm seeing that some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Okay, so the devil is out. A Leo. I'm feeling like there's some depression. There could be someone overindulging in alcohol or drugs. This person can be very abusive and have a very volatile temper. I feel some like someone is... <sighs> invoking these feelings of insecurity in the other person. Well, that's what this self-worth is, I guess. There's insecurity, maybe even fear. Invoking fear in the other person. But yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. I'm saying that things are coming to an end. Things are changing. Uh, the death card talks of ending transformation and i'm feeling like that's what's going on here transformation endings new beginnings so i'm seeing a change in the wind things are about to change for the better keep in mind we're in a retrograde so i feel like karmic situations are ending coming to an end according to divine guidance or according to divine divine intervention in order for new things, things that are supposed to be in your life are coming in. So I'm seeing that, yeah, someone's communicating with, with an ex. Someone may still be holding on to this person as well. The things have become very unstable at home. Maybe even financially. I'm seeing that someone is feeling sad because they feel like they've lost a soulmate connection. And I don't feel like that has something to do with this current situation. Something about a mother. I feel like this is a child's mother. The empress, she represents motherhood. She represents fertility. Someone could be pregnant in this situation or this could just be new beginnings. But I'm definitely feeling like there are kids involved. Maybe someone, I'm seeing another mom here, the, the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's just unhappy in this relationship, but I'm seeing that someone is having to choose maybe between two mothers of their children. Someone could be waiting for communication, possibly. Someone could be waiting for something. Or someone's just weighing their options. Should they stay or should they go? <clears throat> be dealing with someone who's inconsistent their story doesn't line up maybe you feel taken advantage of and maybe others of you de um, um, depend on someone financially or maybe you're having to ask them for money or maybe um, you feel like this relationship is one-sided maybe you feel like you care about the other person more or the other person is more emotionally vested in the relationship than the other feeling like someone feels stuck maybe someone feels stuck staying in the relationship for the kids or maybe this is just insecurity fear because we do have the devil card here someone's in fear of change it looks like or someone just doesn't want to see something she's blindfolded and that's part of what's keeping her stuck. The Eight of Swords it talks of feeling stuck emotionally, mentally, but not actually being stuck. Because these bond, these um, things that are binding her, they're not really very tight. And she can easily take that blindfold off. But this is someone believing that they're stuck. And I believe that this is someone stuck in self-sabotage. Maybe this is someone that is addicted to negative relationships, relationships that hurt them and, and um, do not serve them. So I'm saying that someone's no longer willing to take a risk in this relationship. They're not taking a leap of faith any longer. I feel like someone, well, there is an ending coming up. That, that's evident because there's multiple cards here indicating that this is coming to an end. This is like divine timing bringing this to an end. 
like karma. This is a karmatic situation. But I'm seeing that someone's not paying attention to the red flags that is, that's right in front of their face. Or someone's not seeing something. There's multiple cards here of being blindfolded or covering someone's eyes as if maybe someone's trying to deceive someone. That's evident as well. But I feel like someone just is intentionally not seeing something or choosing not to see something. And that could be what has this person feeling stuck. There's resentment. There's bitter feelings. I feel like there's someone acting immaturely in their relationship. But I'm seeing that someone's coming back from the past. I feel like someone has remorse about how things play out in the past in this relationship. And someone could have... Uh, swore that they would not give this relationship a second chance with this person from the past. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries as well, or this could be your moon arising. King of Cups as well in reverse. Someone's definitely overindulging. Someone is to some degree emotionally manipulative. I'm feeling like this is someone who is very slow to apologize. Someone who feels that they're always right. They don't want to be flexible or see the other side of the situation. They just believe that they're always right. Everything is black and white, not gray, no middle ground, no pen pendulum swings, one extreme or the other. You could be dealing with someone who's sneaky and cunning. But it's evident that someone's lying. Things are coming to an end. I'm seeing new beginnings taking place. Someone could have left you for someone else only to find out that all that glittered was not gold. And as I've stated in other videos, it's like someone felt the grass was greener on the other side when all they had to do was water their own grass and they would see their own lawn flourish. But instead they're looking at the neighbor, the neighbor's grass, thinking that, um, yeah, that that's the answer to their situation. But I'm seeing that things are coming together Right? I'm seeing the universe is bringing things together. Synchronicity is taking place for new things to come in, for growth, for newness, breakthroughs in the situation. So someone from the past could have gained some wisdom and acceptance and seen things for what they really were. But I'm saying someone wants to come back. Someone, something from the past is resurging. Someone could have gotten some enlightenment. And I'm seeing that someone is coming forward. They're about to take action on what it is that they want. Someone is coming back to rebuild things, rebuild the relationship. And they're coming back to balance out the scales. And I'm seeing that this person ending the situation is going to cause the, the, these karmic scales to be balanced in order for things to be rebuilt. Seeing that something new is coming in, it has the potential to go the distance. It has the potential to last for the long haul. And I'm seeing that someone is willing to put in the work for this relationship. I'm feeling like someone could also be holding on to the past as well, and that's what could be keeping this person stuck. Someone's definitely holding on. And then the Six of Cups talks about the past as well. But I feel like there's some depression here as well. But I'm feeling like there will be rest, there will be rejuvenation, there will be this new way of thinking that comes up. There will be a, a break between now and this new thing coming into your life. I'm seeing that you have a lot of positive things to exchange with one another. You and this soulmate. Because I'm feeling like someone feels like they've lost a soulmate connection. This was a soulmate and they feel like they... This person from the past is the soulmate. I'm feeling like something came to an end there. I feel like in both situations, someone realized the truth. Someone f realized that they were being played. So I'm feeling like someone else walked away as well. Someone else moved on and someone is feeling sad. The hermit card, feeling sorrowful about something that they lost. 
But I'm saying that someone's going to come forward and make an offer with the Page of Pentacles. This is like a wish fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. Someone, This is makes someone happy. So whoever left with the Eight of Cups is returning to the situation. Uh, now that they know that you're single with the Nine of Pentacles. Someone's becoming single in this situation. And someone's walking away from a situation that no longer serves them. And I feel like someone from the past is coming in. So let's see what's going, what's coming in for you, Virgo. All right, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo? Pay yourself first and ask for your needs to be met. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it, Virgo. Let's see what else is there for Virgo. Holy Spirit, what else do you have for Virgo? Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave, gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. And at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms, and that is what you will attract for yourself and others. Okay, let's pull an advice card. Okay, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo? Let me shuffle again really quick. Okay, sorry, I had to plug in the camera. It was about to lose power. Okay, let's see. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo? Virgo singles leaving a situation within the next few months. Saying it's a no for this current situation. And you have a yes for something new coming in. And at the bottom of the deck, ask for help from others. Well, this has come up more than once. What else do you have for Virgo Holy Spirit? Meditation brings answers. And romance and at the bottom of the deck still is ask for help from others all right so virgo this concludes your weekly reading with angelic ascensions tarot if you're interested in booking a personal reading my information is down below in the description box and uh including my instant go information so if you're interested in contacting me on instant go you can text me your question my uh, profile uh, is below you can click there it will take you directly to my instant go profile and you can text me your question i will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours on that app um so don't fret if i don't if i don't answer you right away but i will get back to you all right everyone if this resonated please feel free to hit the like button below and subscribe you can hit the bell when you do subscribe so that you get all of the notifications, I do upload every week. Um, and for those of you who are new, I welcome you to the family. Take care, everyone, and thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. You are appreciated. Bye for now.